What's good? What's good? It's your boy DJ Cree back with another video, man. Ah, oh, your boy D1 is making y'all positive Christian rappers look crazy. Man, D1 is on here. I again, let me preface this real quick. D1 is a rapper, you know, and I guess he's a uh uh advocate for, you know, positive change and Christian rap and all that stuff. But man, he 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 really comes off as pretentious uh in this interview and I ugh disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. I ain't gonna say no more, man. He made Christian rap look real bad. We gonna play this and I come back with my commentary. Everybody talking about this hot boy reunion, you know what I mean? And bro, I don't think that we need a hot boy reunion. Oh, no. I'm serious, bro. I'm serious. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. You ain't trying to go back to jail. Chill out, bro. You ain't trying to go back to jail. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Chill out, brother. Chill out. So, I love you too much to not be honest with you, bro. Don't say that, man. Bro. Because this hot boy reunion is going to change. Bro. Look. This, this this hot boy reunion, all jokes aside, is going to change people's mental. All right, D1, first of all, if you're trying to be this positive pillar in the community and all these different things, then why in the world would you tell these black men who came from nothing that you don't think there needs to be a hot boy reunion? That is crazy. The reason why we need a hot boys reunion. They will state it. First of all, it's people who have supported the hot boys since the beginning. It's things that this music, this music is so powerful that a lot of times this music change people's lives. You know, it helps people through struggles. It helps people through hard times. That's the thing you, you can't take away from anybody's music especially when it's helping somebody and the hot boys was something that even the most hood dudes could look forward to and support dog like we got to stop tearing people down because of what they did in the past you know what i'm saying the past is the past but the past also is a reflection of the future you know you from your past you could determine what your future is by changing your actions and changing your ways but I ain't gonna say no more. We're gonna continue with this interview. All the things that went on with me and my brothers. A lot of people was criticizing me, saying, "Why are you still pushing? They don't f with you. They don't f with you. They don't f with you." It went from me not talking with Juvie to talking with Juvie. Me not talking with Fresh to talking with Fresh. Me not talking with Wayne to talking with Wayne. Me not talking with BG. Gonna be talking to BG and gonna be talking to Birdman. Those are my family. You know what I'm saying? And when outside peoples don't understand that, bro, we are part of a bigger, bigger picture. And it's more spiritual than anything. You know what I'm saying? So when you say you don't need this, that's like saying we don't need God. In my eyesight, when I have a vision and I know what God then showed me, it's going to be something bigger to where people who are going through something, when they see we reconcile after sin, everything play out the way it playing out. Man, if the hot boys did it, if Cash Money Millionaires did it, I'm about to call my bro, bro. Bam, bam, bam. And and, and people getting on one accord, bro, it's just, it's bigger than us. I, I do agree with most of what Turk says. The only thing I don't agree with Turk, uh, you know, whatever you had going on, dog, you just, you, you got to make it right. You know what I'm saying? We don't know everything. And, and I, I think... Turk is going to have to bite the bullet on on some of the stuff uh, that he said, you know, and that's that's the only thing I think Turk is missing uh, from the convo. But we're going to get right back into it. Here we go. I'm about to call my bro, bro. Bam, bam, bam. And, and, and people getting on one accord, bro. It's just it's bigger than us. That's why the devil is fighting so much against it. You know what I'm saying? And people don't understand, but I understand, I overstand, and that's why I keep on pushing. And, you know, right now, me and Juve and Fresh, man, we're going to be in Memphis Thursday. You know what I'm saying? On the back that ass. 
too. You know what I'm saying? After Fresh and Juve just did a media run, being on the back that ass too in New York, speaking about how they think everything is silly. Couple hours later, this is true. I get a phone call. We on the road. So that's yep. spiritual. That's God. People don't understand what they don't understand in the spirit. But I keep on walking by faith, not by sight. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is, man. But you're entitled to say what you say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But don't say that again, B1. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you I'm going to grab that book. Somewhere. I'm going to tell, tell you something. Listen, it's called The Dangers of Nostalgia, <sighs> right? Nostalgia can be very dangerous. Nostalgia makes us think back to the past and we associate certain memories with, oh man, when I was making this music or when I was listening to this music, this is what I was doing back then. It bring me back to good times and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. The dangers of nostalgia is sometimes it can have us fiending for something from the past that really wasn't healthy for us in the first place. So when it comes to hip hop, we want to celebrate. How about we celebrate who y'all are today instead of celebrating who y'all was 25 years ago when, like you said, you was on that, you was on that powder bg was going through the same thing let Listen. me cut you all right there though we're not celebrating what we was you know Thank what i'm you. saying Thank we you. just giving the people what they want oh. you know what i'm talking about what we was we could never be again we giving Thanks. the people what they want something that they never had you know what i'm saying uh experience of all of us being on that stage at one time okay now this is where that Christian, Christian, positive role model stuff go out the window because you're judging these people. And, you know, again, if you truly are of the word, then you, you know, preach your word and then you don't be judgmental to the people, you know, like. I ain't trying to get too deep to the Bible, but you know, Christianity is one of those faiths where you take, you know, the down downtrodden, you take, you know, the worst and worse, and you know, people go through spiritual enlightenment and become better people. But you have to give them time and give them room to do that. If you force this, like he's trying to, oh, why don't y'all do that? Like you make the, you make. Oh, you make this stuff look so bad. Oh my God, I, I want to say so much, but you know we only have so many, so so much time on these little YouTube channels. I don't think it's so much of people being in the past, and I think people who don't understand won't never understand. You know what I'm saying? And Thank that's you. why people who don't know just fall back and watch how it go, and they'll be blessed by the situation. You feel me? So that's your persona. I mean, that's your that's your observation of it, but it's not that. That's just like me saying. D1, you don't like drill rap. Mm -hmm. You don't like this type of rap. But when it's beneficial for you, mm -hmm. I'm about to do a song with you, and I'm just going to be on my side. And Fred O'Bain going to be on his side, because Fred O'Bain talk that talk, yeah, good that point. gangster talk. Yep. But you got a song with him. So how you explain that to people that saying you not supposed to even be on that record because of what we talking about on that song now if y'all if y'all was talking about doing a new album together and reflective of who y'all is today and y'all have grown and matured i think that could be revolutionary for hip-hop but to to, to 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 rap the lyrics i know every song off of y'all albums bro word for word bro to to be rapping them lyrics putting that back out there into the universe 25 years later i mean like i said if i'm keeping it 100 bro that's something that's gonna feel good to a lot of people who grew up on that music. You're right, giving the people what they want. There. I think you too but caught I, up on words well, and not, not a person's character. You know what I'm saying? Like a person right, is right. just like Denzel Washington. He plays bad cop in Training Day. It doesn't mean that he's a bad person in real life. When he goes home, he's Denzel Washington. I think people judge people to the point where you know what I'm saying. I'm beyond sin. You feel me? Like I don't think. Yeah, and I don't even think D1 caught that. You judge and D1 is definitely judging people from a place of where he thinks he's higher. You know, it may be unconscious, you know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to be positive, but it is oh subconscious. I mean, he's talking from a place of where I, I don't do no wrong. I, like everybody has their own path that they're going to take in life, dog. And this is why I think so many people stray away from religions in general um and when they grow up they find oh you weren't even righteous yourself you preaching that word but you weren't even righteous yourself 
You down at all my friends, but you weren't righteous yourself. And I think that's that's why it's such a divide. And, and as people, as societies grow bigger, you have less people joining these r religions because it's, it's, it's a cult-like mentality. Then two, you know, the people that, that hold this godly word and hold up every, try to hold up every moral behind the scenes, they're just immoral as the next person. Is that is based on what are you really telling these people? What are you really giving these people? What messages are you carrying on? Don't be like me. Don't be influenced. Be inspired. And I think that's what it come down to, bro. Like, we just got to stop thinking that we know what another person is doing because I don't know what a D1 doing. You feel me? Only you know your purpose and you know your heart. Only you know your relationship with God is just like us. You know what I'm saying? We are great people. So you say we actors as I rappers. Think, you say we actors. I think we all are actors when we are rappers. We painting a picture of something that we didn't either seen, something that we didn't been through. But most of us are not doing the things that we talking about now. But it is reality, and it's the message after I think that comes that make the make the sense. You well, feel this me? would be my question to you, D. If you grew up in New Orleans, and you know every song backwards and forwards. How did we still get a D1? If it was that crazy and exactly. it was killing you, Ooh. how did we get the D1? That, yeah. that, that's what I'm yeah. See, I think it helped us to get a D1. Yeah. Mm. Behind street credibility mm. is what gives us a behind in the podcast exactly. feel, mm -hmm. simply because I can identify with the people that I talk to. Exactly. If I never was from Southwest or the west side of Atlanta, I wouldn't be able to talk to the people that I talk to mm -hmm. because of those experiences. Mm -hmm. Now, at the age of 40 years old now, mm -hmm. I know better. to hear that again, it's going to take me back to where I was at at 20 years old, 15 years old, mm -hmm. and it's going to have a good time in this yeah. thing. But it's also going to inspire other people to be able to still do what they do. I think going to a concert, hearing good music, and jamming is not hurting nobody. And seeing mm -hmm. the person have changed their life lets them know that, man, wait, I don't, you mean to tell me I could act this out, I could yep. do this, but my lifestyle be. Wife, kids, going to church, Man. praising God, Preach. doing this. I think people put too much stipulations on what righteous supposed to be, and that would make people don't even want to go right. You that's know what, what that's saying? why but people when you have yeah. people like it, it, who was saw them. before they came. Paul, I can relate to you more than I can relate to somebody who just want to be Paul and never been saw. You know. What I mean? And that's a very good point, man. Turk and be high killed it man y'all make sure y'all check out the podcast let me know what y'all think in the comments um did d1 really uh defend this point i don't think so but you might have another opinion and he did, did he make christianity and positivity and christian rap and all that did he make it look bad because i think he did i think he did try to judge and and looked foolish but let me know in the comments make sure y'all like comment and subscribe more content is on the way peace